To download Charles, go to charlesproxy.com forward slash download and select the correct version for your desktop or laptop computer. When the download has finished, install the program and then open it. When you open Charles, the program will look like this. Click on Proxy in the menu bar and select Mac OS Proxy. This will tell the program that the device you want to proxy is your Mac computer. To use Charles Proxy features, you need to install the root certificate. Click on Help, SSL Proxying, and Install Charles Root Certificate. The keychain access will be displayed and search for Charles. Double click on the certificate, click on the arrow next to Trust, and select Always Trust. You can now close this window. If you have a password on your computer, you'll be asked to enter it now. Search for Charles again, and you'll see that the certificate is marked as Trusted. You can close the keychain access and go back to the program. To decrypt your computer's incoming and outgoing traffic, you need to enable SSL proxying. Click on Proxy, and then click SSL Proxying Settings. Click Add to tell Charles which domains you want to decrypt. Host is where you will enter the name of the domain you want to decrypt traffic from. If you type an asterisk, all of your computer traffic will be decrypted. It looks like this. Check your cycle overview or ask the TTL in chat about what host should be added when using Charles Proxy in a live test cycle. If you type a website name with an asterisk before and after the name, Charles will only decrypt traffic from that domain. It looks like this. The standard port for SSL proxying is 443, so type 443 in the port field, and then click OK. You'll now have a new proxying rule that looks like this. Click OK. Now you are ready to begin recording your Charles proxy log. The circle icon will stop or start your log, and the broom icon will clear your log so that you can start over. To begin recording, click File and then click New Session. Because of the settings that have been set up, only utest.com traffic will be decrypted, so go to utest.com to verify that it's working. You'll know that your settings are correct if the traffic you're trying to decrypt has a blue circle next to it. Everything else should have a padlock like this, and the information inside will be unknown. The information inside of utest will be displayed and can be read. You can stop by clicking record, and you can clear by clicking the broom. To change your settings, click on proxy, SSL proxying settings, and then modify your rule. For instance, nba.com. So let's click OK, OK, record, and then we'll check utest. Utest no longer has a blue circle, but nba.com will. All NBA traffic will now be decrypted. If you want to add, you can create another rule by clicking Proxy, SSL Proxying Settings, and then adding another one. For instance, let's do U-Test again. Now all traffic from NBA and U-Test will be decrypted, but nothing else will. So let's clear the log and record it and go to both sites. There's NBA.com in blue. And here we have utest.com in blue. Now if we pause the log and we go to the settings and remove both of these options and then begin recording again and we go to both sites, everything will be locked and the traffic is not decrypted. To save your log, click the circle icon to stop recording and then click File, Save Session As. Name your log and click Save. Your file will be saved as a .charles file. Now you can upload it to your test case or bug report in the uTest platform. When you're done using Charles for testing, make sure to remove the root certificate. Click on Help, SSL Proxying, and Install Charles Root Certificate. 
click Cancel because you don't want a new certificate, and then search for Charles. Click on the certificate, right click, and then click Delete. Confirm the delete, and then if you have a password, enter it now. The root certificate is deleted, and you can close the keychain access. You can also now close Charles, and that's how you get a Charles log using your Mac computer.